How's it, guys? Welcome to my channel. So, feast your eyes on this beauty. Uh, I got this Copico from Colt Pens, and I got it way back in, well, not too way back, but May 18th, 2021. And can anyone guess which one it is? <laughs> it's a beauty. So it comes in this nice tin case. Um, I won't be storing it in here. So a lot of times these pens come in these cases. So they're good for like micro organization. And I use them all over the place. Mostly in my studio with stickers or what have you. Or um, just different fountain pen items that are small that I want to corral all together. But that's a side note. Ta-da! And I've cleaned this and taken everything out of this already and added a clip. It does not come like that. So you can just take this little felt piece out and there is your storage box. Which they come in handy so I hang on to these. I get rid of all the other things. I've already distributed them into where they need to go. This is a little sticker. Um, and then I just, I'll keep this little cutout and then I'll just recycle the rest. That's how I do it because, you know, it's a lot to keep all the pen cases as it is. So I try to multi-purpose those things. But in any event, here is the beautiful pen, gorgeous. So this is the Coveco Collection Fountain Pen, Vibrant Violet, and I got the Extra Broad. And if you've been watching my videos, then you know I have a little stash of these clips. I have both sizes, the smaller one as well as the larger one. I like to mix my metals, and I like the bronze one. It's raw bronze, so I just put that right on it when I got it. And this is a metal pen, so pretty cool. Listen to that sound too. I love that. So you can post it. And this does come all the way off. Um, but I just leave it like that. I'm going to move it back up a little. I leave it like that, and that way the logo will show. It's et um, it's etched in there. You can feel it. Caveco Collection Germany, it says. I love this color. Lavender is my favorite color, so I had to get this. And then it comes with a cartridge, I believe, which I've already put away. And so I've added a mini Caveco um, con converter, um, and you just lift it up and down. I have a, also a stash of these because you just never know when you get another one. And I like to keep one for each pen. That's just like how I tend to do things. So I'm going to leave the pen deconstructed like that. I'm very excited about this um, nib because it is extra broad. So that's going to be fun. And then I thought I just went into my collection of ink and I picked this one. I've used this one before. This is Jacques Urban in Cree Violetta Parfum Violet. So as from the name, you can tell. This is a perfumed ink, and I especially like using this with my pen pals and my friends that I've had for many, many decades um, to keep in touch with them. It's just a special touch, I think, using the perfumed ink. So this is what I decided to pair this up with. And I love the color, I already know, so. 
let's just go ahead and fill it up. And then I will, you, sometimes you have to pump a couple times when you're doing this, which is fine. There I can see it filled the chamber somewhat. So I'm going to do that a few times just so I can get a nice, there it goes, fill. And I'm not going to fill it all the way up. Um, if you like the Kaveco pens, I suggest you, you know, get a few of these extra converters and keep it on hand because sometimes, um, I always get mine with a discount. Um, Cult Pens always gives a discount quite often, so that's generally my go-to shop. I reside in Virginia and it's in, where is it? Let's see. It's in Europe somewhere. It doesn't say exactly on my order sheet. But, and I always get free shipping, so no big deal. If you order over a certain amount, they give you free shipping. It's a, such a beautiful scent. Wow. I never get tired of the scent. I really like it. And pretty, right? Such a pretty pen. For some reason, I just had to have this because of the color. I tend towards the either the clear demonstrators or well, I can't say really, but um. I like the solid colored pens like this. And I also like um, the clear demonstrators. So look at that. Beautiful. And then I always, if I'm going to post it, I always line up the clip with the nib just like that. Okay. You don't have to, and I generally don't even post um, my pens as it is. So, all right, what I'm going to do is I am going to jot this down in my trusty log books because I use three, and this is my... Toroco Shop Enigma. This one happens to be my ink log. This one, and I'm not, I have this ink already logged in my book, so I don't need to make a swatch card. I have one already. Um, so this is my other Toroco Shop Enigma, and then I have my Hobonichi notebook. So I will log them in these two. And as well as in this one, which is my Loich Term 1917. I have it covered with a plastic cover and then some craft paper, scrapbook paper. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to fast forward this part and I will catch you guys at the end and we'll look at it, the colors. Okay, enjoy.
Okay, you guys, let's change things up a bit. I'm going to show you my Covaco, um, not my Covaco, my Lurch Term, my Lurch Term 1917 first. With the ink sample and the writing sample. Look how beautiful that is. And this pen does not disappoint whatsoever one iota. It's an extra broad, and I just wanted to go all out and be verbose with my writing, as it were. Because you can go really big with this, so I just love that. But you can also go smaller, as you like. So there's that. Now, the Taroko Shop Enigma. These two papers, like I said, they're no fuss, no muss. Um... But I tell you, when I write with it on these papers, I mean, the ink just absorbs right in, and that is super ultra satisfying to me. So I like it. What are you going to do? What can I say? It's quirky, but there it is. And then, last but not least, my trusty Hobonichi notebook paper. And you're not going to see any sheening or anything like that. I did go a little bit smaller. This isn't my smallest writing that I can do. But just to show you that you can write small if you like, as you choose, with the extra broad nib. So, I mean, I could have gone smaller, but I just didn't. So, there you have it. But I am going to give myself a lot of room so I can write as big as I want with this beautiful nib. Oops. So, I think this is a super fun pen. I love it. So far, so good. And I'm glad I purchased it, really. I, I like the feel of it. I like the sound of it. Taking the cap on and off with that... Um, metal sound. It's slight, but... And the feel of that, because it's like a frosted metal, feels also ultra satisfying going in there. Beautiful. And this is how I usually write. I just set my cap aside and then I write, but I left it posted this time, which is totally fine. Even with this clip on it, it doesn't make it too heavy or anything. Without the clip, obviously, it's going to be much lighter. But, and I think it goes really well with this ink. It smells lovely. So, that is my little share of my brand new fountain pen. This is the first time I'm inking it up. And I was, if you saw from the video, the sped up part... I was looking to see what pen I had used this in, and it turns out either it was before I started keeping a log, or I just have never inked up with this one, because I have the pink, a pink one um, that's perfumed as well from Airbin, and that's the one I usually use. So, I think this is gorgeous. I love it. All right, if you liked what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and let me know how you guys like these metal pens. I'm curious what's your take on them. I like it so far. So, anyway, all right, bye. Peace out.